Seal Beach. He was second here last year, then ran out of gas in the final. Enabling his partner, Mike Dodd, to win with Pat Powers. Whitmarsh, if you remember last year, took six bags of IV to continue to play, and then after the tournament was taken to the hospital. And it was a scorcher here this year, the weather a lot more forgiving. It's been overcast in the morning. It's burned off into a beautiful afternoon, and a light breeze will keep the temperatures down. Out of bounds. The blocking story in this one has been Mike Whitmarsh at the net. And Sinjin Smith unable to find an answer. And, and the key to his success through the years has always been the ability to pass the ball perfectly and not make unforced mistakes. He's been stuffed five times by Whitmarsh, and now he's hit two balls out of bounds, giving up a lot of points. Mike Dodd in white. The white shirt will serve. His partner, Whitmarsh, in red, positioned at the net. Ludi pounds it. Or I should say sets it to Smith, who pounds it. Ginger Smith and Ricky Ludi's a recently new team after Smith. Smith was uh, parted from his longtime partner, Randy Stoklos. Decision oh, Smith, the all-time winningest player in the ABP Tour, 135 wins. First one back in 1977. Uh, Marsh, who it away. But for a team that has played an awful lot of volleyball matches over the course of the first two and a half days of this Side tournament, out, Mike Whitmarsh and Mike Dodd look very, very good. Their eighth match of the tournament. Smith and Ludies, their sixth by comparison, and Whitmarsh and Dodd have spent a lot of time in the contender's bracket having lost yesterday in the quarterfinals. This is Smith. Oh, oh my God! Fake to the line, and then the cut inside by Smith. 11 to 5. Whitmarsh and Dodd, however, still lead by 6. Just like Light a baseball off, pitcher Smith with the curveball, you just slice the ball off. Actually, Ricky literally Ludi's hit the side serve. of the volleyball and spin your hand, play, cutting off five, the slice angle. Ricky Ludi, 6'5", 215 pounds, serving. Uh, Whitmarsh looking strong. Even, even on the line call from Mike Dodd, Mike Whitmarsh prefers to still try to just challenge the block and hit the high, hard heater inside the block. favorites are Smith and Ludies definitely but throughout this particular game they have not been able to put heavy pressure on Dodd and Whitmarsh. Well the one thing we really haven't talked about is the ability of Mike Dodd and Mike Whitmarsh to side out very very consistently against the defense of Ludies and Smith. They've passed pretty well set well enough and they've both been good. You know if you're just continually siding out you frustrate the other team and force them to change their strategy. The attempted short serve by Smith did not work, and so now Mike Whitmarsh will put the ball back in play. San Diego High School Player of the Year in basketball, went to University of San Diego where he averaged over 20 points a game, then drafted into the NBA. Oh, no. Come on, Mike! Or is this the antithesis of the match uh, yesterday against Anginio and Loyola, the bombing jump serves and all that sort of play? A lot of strategy, a lot of little floaty uh, short serves, called Dodd and said, listen, cut, don't cut, leave. Cut, 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 cut. Kind of an interesting situation because Mike Dodd is the chairman there, of the board. Gyro, it rotated, it just wobbled. Of the AVP, chairman of the board, a non-paid position, and he's screaming at a referee. Well, he's wearing a different hat today, and, and those of you not familiar with volleyball parlance, a chuck is short for up chuck, which was his personal opinion of that set. Ludis has the dig. Important play here. Ludis and Smith need it. And they get it. Got to have the set 12-8 side change. They're one point away from it. Point 
Dodd and Whitmarsh were in control, 5 nothing and 9-2. Can feel the momentum shifting just a bit here. Smith, Louise, back over. Whitmarsh. Smith and Ludy's doing just about everything they can to try to keep that ball alive. Sinjin, not a great blocker. He hasn't really spent a lot of time at the net blocking since he finished playing indoors, but they got to make the switch. Ludy's, I think, is too tired to be an effective blocker up there. Both Smith and Ludy's covered. You put Pigpen out there, you have the three dirtiest guys in California. Pigpen would look the best. Sand timeout and definitely Sand timeout. needed by Ludy's and Smith. As they are sweating profusely, it's been a very long and grueling three-day tournament in, here in Seal Beach, California. One of the things you do not have to contend with, however, is the tremendous humidity. It is hot. It's hot on the sand, but the humidity is not here. Well, we start out in Florida. Obviously, you deal with it there actually very early in the year in Hawaii, and it's a bit of a problem. But you go through the Midwest and the Eastern swing, and it can be 95 outside 125 on center court and the humidity can be 90 percent as well and no surprise that a lot of players have some physical problems okay. minute 30 left in this game clock only runs while the ball's in play. Yeah, Smith looking stronger and stronger if you're wondering about St. John Smith he has never to my knowledge cramped or had dehydration problems and when he played with Randy Stokos he should have gotten him because he got every serve all day long for 10 years wouldn't be unusual for Smith out of 45 serves to get 44 of them they'll try Don and Don looking strong I think if Smith Ludies have a chance they have to stay on Whitmarsh and hope for a break Ludies has got to block a ball. He's just as capable a blocker as Mike Whitmarsh, but so far Whitmarsh has really outplayed him here. Whitmarsh has five stuff blocks. Excuse me, make that seven. So Ludies and Smith look a little more animated right now, a little more energized. Whitmarsh and Dodd have slowed the pace down to a, a crawl. And the serve out of bounds. We wonder a little why Ricky Ludis would not be serving the jump serve. Fatigue certainly yeah. a factor. But yeah, I think tired. if you're on the good side, you got to take a whack at a couple. Yeah, he's tired. He's tired right now if he's not hitting the jump serve from the good side. Another deep loop serve. Yeah. Smith. Oh. Win Boy, what a play by pig pen number three. You got to get down. You got to grovel. Be committed to the ball. And there's nobody else to cover. If you don't get the ball, nobody does. And if that ball goes down, Smith this Lutie. match is over at the 13-7 side change. But Smith and Ludy still with a hope, seven. thanks to that phenomenal effort by Ludy's. The two best at spiker coverage ever. Duncan McFarlane on the 1972 Olympic team. And Karch Karaj. Angle, angle. Surprised they're serving Dodd. Well, they went to Whitmarsh without success, and the problem was they just couldn't block him. Oh, yeah, and he's God, listening Whitmarsh. well to Mike Dodd, who's setting the ball accurately, even though with a bumping technique yes, and they're giving good calls. Three, I think they just seven. got sick and tired of seeing Whitmarsh be so consistent. Wait, 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 wait. Jump ball, and Smith is into the net. Going to be another point for Whitmarsh and Dodd. So the jump ball at the net won by six foot seven inch. Big wins, 52 seconds to go, 13 to 7, Whitmarsh and Dodd. Ludies and Smith have played very, very well. They'll finish third in this one, their best finish of the year. Lost a very tight one-point game to Karch Karain Kent Steffes earlier this morning, and that may have just been too fatiguing, both mentally and physically, to come back from. Well, they were right there. They had an 8-7 advantage. There were some controversial calls, and Kirai and Steffes got the breaks or made the breaks that have made them so successful over the last couple of years. 13-7, a lead of six for Dodd and Whitmarsh. Come on, Ricky. Angle. Come on, Angle. Whit. Can't find it. Good shot, but not enough time remaining to come back in this one. 23 and a half oh, yeah. seconds. And Whitmarsh and Dodd cruising. 
Want to save energy, get rested up for Ryan Steffes. Pretty good looking serve, just wide, about three or four inches. You know, you look at the four players out here and you see the ultimate advantage that Kirai and Steffes have. They're sitting in the players' tent, cooling off, taking their fluids, relaxing. And these four athletes are out here working hard. Smith and Ludies look like they're gonna go down, but Whitmarsh and Dodd obviously expending an awful lot of energy just for the right to get back to the finals. Dodd and Whitmarsh head by six. 20 seconds to go. Rudy stumps it through. Dodd and Whitmarsh just playing out the string here, serving the ball high up in the air, let the wind do its job and run the time off the clock, shake hands and try to go get some rest and take fluids as we've talked about. Recover and get ready for the finals. Rudy's going to buff up for one run at a jump serve here and see if he can get a string going. Can't do it. The tone was set here early when Dodd and Whitmarsh ran off five straight points to open this game up and did it primarily with the blocking of Whitmarsh. He was imposing. He blocked three balls in that first five-point spree and really set the tone for this one. With a lollipop serve. Ten seconds to go. And Whit is there. You can't coach big, and Whitmarsh is big and on the spot, and his instincts are getting better and better all the time. Trying to save time, go on to, and Whit, look at Whitmarsh. Eighth match of the tournament, fourth of the day, and he is just hovering. Seven seconds to go, and this is game point. Little tip shot, Whit's not going to bend down to get that one, save a little energy. And there will be one more play with 1.1 seconds. So an impressive performance for Mike Dodd and Mike Whitmarsh. They will knock off Sinjin Smith and Ricky Ludes and advance into our final. Of course, the question cards to Mike Whitmarsh and Mike Dodd. One game to 15 for the championship. Whitmarsh in purple rocks the first one. What a sentimental favorite he should be. Last year, he got to the final here in Seal Beach. He had to take six bags of IV to continue to play. Still, he could not finish. And he is looking to make up for that. One of Mike's popular players on tour. Everybody feeling for him. Here's Kent Steffes. Come on, come on! And Dodd has a chance for a point. Whitmarsh. Right to Karch. Dodd, he's got it. And he can't put it away. Seeing the level of performance Dodd and Whitmarsh have had really through much of their partnership. Mike Dodd playing phenomenal defense, going for the reverse jam in honor of Shaquille O'Neal. And even that doesn't go down. Karai with the serve, no score. And Mike Dodd, did he touch the net? No. Dodd going on two and getting the side out. How can anybody with Mike Dodd's credentials be unappreciated or underappreciated, underrated? He has been that, always played with very visible and in Tim Hovland's case, loud partners, but a phenomenal career. Serving Steffes. And Steffes pops it through. Early in his career, Steffes had troubles with Whitmarsh. Hasn't so lately. Ask Kent Steffes about that. He says, look, I've got a game plan for Mike Whitmarsh. I've got a different game plan for Ricky Ludes or Randy Stokos. I said, what is it? He said, I'm not going to tell you. You'll blab it over the air, and then everybody will know. Kent Steffes, 25 years old, the rising star on tour. He's won the most tournaments so far this year. He's won 16 out of 20 if you include the international win in Brazil, which we do. Now Mike Dodd to serve. No score early. And double contact called on Karch Karai. Karch has been having trouble setting this week. He's been going down to his knees to try to soften the ball and he's getting called for double contact. Well, the ball comes into Kirai's hand simultaneously, but he's leaving with the double contact left to right transfer, creating a lot of spin, unfair ball control advantage, like carrying the ball over in a basketball game. Karch steps one through. 
Well, Karts Karai was in the best shape of his career, at least beach-wise. Very fit, very lean. He'll serve. One to nothing, Whitmarsh and Dodd. Nobody up, and Whitmarsh crushes it. Mike Whitmarsh in purple. Only his third year on tour. He was a basketball player, if you don't know the story. He was 5'10", 140 pounds as a junior in high school, grew seven inches and gained 40 pounds in one year. That ball goes out of bounds. Two to nothing, Whitmarsh in die. There's the key confrontation. Mike Whitmarsh was able to get into St. John Smith early in the match prior to this, and they're going after Kent Steffes. First unforced error. Off Whitmarsh and out of bounds. So Whitmarsh and Dodd off to a pretty good start. Two to nothing is our score. Very, very windy here at CO Beach. It is also very hot. One of the reasons Karaj Garai wearing socks. And one of the keys, Chris, is the wind has completely changed direction since earlier in the day. And Whitmarsh and Dodd have had a match under their belts in these wind conditions. Kirai and Steffes have not. The wind was blowing opposite to this when they played earlier. Well, Mike Dodd, who last week Played in Italy with Tim Hovland will serve. Dodd and White took a week off from the AVP tour and made $8,000. Good little paid vacation. Steffes snaps it down the line. Side out. So far, Steffes has received all seven serves administered at his team. And Karch Karai to serve. Third on the all-time list with 74 career wins. No, no, no. Whitmarsh out of bounds in the first point for the Kings of the Beach, Karai and Steffes. It's a weakness of Mike Whitmarsh. The ball set six or seven feet back. He loves to go away from his body into the cross-court corridor. You could hear Mike Dodd yell line. That was the open area for the easy side out. Missed it. Whitmarsh. Whitmarsh hits it off. And Steffes, big difference in the number of games that these two teams have played during the three-day weekend. Dodd and Whitmarsh, this is their ninth game. How about Karai and Steffes? Karai and Steffes, their sixth. And Dodd and Whitmarsh had a tough go of it. They beat Lewis and Stokos 13-12. Beat Smith and Ludies 10-9 on time. Going the distance. Steffes bounces one. And Kent Steffes will serve. Steffes. 51 wins, marvelous past two years. Whitmarsh over the top. Side out. Nothing deceptive about it when you bring out the knuckler. The only thing is Mike Whitmarsh, I think, playing on some pretty strong wheels this time around in Seal Beach, poking right over the top of Kirai. Mike Dodd. Pretty good spinner. Good communication for Karai and Steffes. They're really difficult for people watching to appreciate the ability of these athletes to control the ball. Tennis players complain about windy conditions. It's a hard, dense ball rocketing through the wind. But this volleyball is inflated, and the wind blowing now by 15, 20 miles an hour. Good serve, Whitmarsh. And he snaps it down. So Whitmarsh is getting a number of serves. He's not passing perfectly, but he's able to put the ball away, which is key. Contest right now between Whitmarsh and Steffes. They have received the only serves for their respective teams, and both of them off pretty well. Two to one early here, Whitmarsh and Dodd ahead. Whit, trying to block Karch. And Karch dribbles one in on the line. So Kent Steffes will have the ball. Kent Steffes, a different sword. He did not grow up idolizing Ron Lang and Ron Von Hagen and Jim Mangus. His idols were Warren Buffett and Peter Lynch of money-making fame. And Ivan Boski, except he doesn't admit that one. <laughs> not anymore. Whitmarsh. Come on! Got it. Nice shot from Mike Whitmarsh. Only a one-time winner on the APP Tour. He was the 1990 Rookie of the Year. But 10 seconds throughout his career, he has not been able to finish up the big ones. 2-1. Ace for Dodd! 
chalk that one up almost exclusively to the wind conditions. Mike Dodge, so experienced, been out on tour for 15 years. Doesn't hit it hard. A little top spin up, up, up into the wind over Kirai's head. The wind brings it down inside the back line. Pretty good retrieval there by Karch. He cuts with. And it did not cross the net. Whitmarsh and Dodd take a 4-1 to one lead. But they were on the good side. Now they go to the bad side. Can they continue? 7.09 to go in the game. With Dodd out of the state, the influence the wind conditions have Last on word, beach volleyball. That's why the teams change sides out. multiples Marky of five to even that out. Here comes Karai. His team trailing 4-1. to one, And he tries to bang one. It's out of bounds. So Mike Dodd and Mike Whitmarsh, a team that has never won a tournament together. Mike Dodd has won 59 in his career. Whitmarsh won, but none together. Come on, Mike! Chance for a point, big one. Karch. And Karch puts it away. A big missed chance for Dodd and Whitmarsh. You got to capitalize against Kirai and Steffes. Get as many as you can early. Remember, Kirai and Steffes were down to Johnson and Vandeweghe 10 4 at Manhattan Beach, came back. So they don't get too rattled down early. Good pass. Yes. Steffes has it. Looking for a point. Can't get it. Don Whitmarsh keeping the pressure on the Kings of the Beach. My God is served on the side out. Mike Dodd, three-time world champion. What? Double contact. First referee is Jim Leonard. So, so far, two chucks. One by Kawhi, one by Steppes. And it is now 5-1 to one Dodd Whitmarsh. Both of them good calls. Again, the wind playing an awful lot to do with uh, the ball handling difficulties. Oh, Michael! Karch showing that he can elevate. Jumped over 40 inches when he was playing at UCLA and on the Olympic team. He stands about 6'2 and a half, 6'3, could touch a foot and seven inches above the basket. Puts it away, and a nice set by Whitmarsh. Rocket jump serve to Mike Dodd, and he just calmly gets his body in front of the ball and comes through with a big side out. Karch has it. And Steffes puts it away. Karai and Steffes very good at spiker coverage. Well, you have to be always ready. Where's the ball going to come from? And particularly against a player like Mike Whitmarsh, who's capable of blocking almost any ball you put up there, you really have to help one another out. And Steph is finishing quickly on it, too. 5-1, Dodd and Whitmarsh. And Karai and Steffes have not adjusted to the win conditions yet. Keep in mind, Dodd and Whitmarsh played in the contender's bracket final. So they have just a bit better. And Steffes gets another kill. Kirai and Steffes are on the good side, and substantially so. But they've missed their last two serves, where you have a big advantage. Kirai probably will just try to keep this ball in, and if he does so, rip it after that. And into the net goes Dodd. Wind blowing very heavily. I think Whitmarsh has to set it higher for Dodd on that right side. Well, throughout the course of this tournament, I was surprised by how low he has been setting Mike Dodd. But again, these windy conditions, the ball just doesn't get to the same location you've been expecting. Get the first one in, rip the second one. Good top spin the first time, but this is going straight hubby wife. You take it, I've got it, no communication. There really wasn't time to get any good conversation going during that play. Karch's salary and value has risen dramatically over the years. In 1985, he made $55,000, then a record while playing for the USA national team. In 1992, just seven years later, he was making $1 million a year plus bonuses playing in Italy. Talk about upward mobility in your job. And that doesn't include prize money he won on the beach last year, over $325,000. Good set, and Dodd kills it. 
So Whitmarsh and Dodd, the best basketball players on the beach. Well, Shaquille O'Neal sitting very close by. Be careful. On center court, I should say. Dodd, Whitmarsh. Five to one the score. Nobody. And it's out of bounds. Let me correct the score. It's five to three with five minutes and 44 seconds to go in this one. Kent Steph is serving from the good side now. Right to Steffes. And Karch goes on two. Steffes scrambling behind the block. He's six foot five, but nearly as quick, I think, as Karch Kirai. Getting stronger and quicker every year. On top of that ball, and again, good side, paying dividends. Kirai and Steffes creeping back in. Three in a row, they've scored. And four in a row, ace for Steffes. So the good side apparently is very good. We've got a good one going on center court. Dodden Whitmarsh five, Karai and Steffes, the kings of the beach five. The storyline revolves around Dodden Whitmarsh and Dodden Whitmarsh win for the first time together. And of course, Karai and Steffes. Seal Beach is a tournament they have never won together. Disappointing fifth the last two years for Karai and Steffes. Their 13 match win streak. A record time, 13 matches, ended last year by Whitmarsh. And here we are. Snapping it off. Step us out of bounds. This is the fourth time these two teams have met in the finals. The first at the Cuervo in Boulder. That was not close. The two subsequent, Whitmarsh had really to withdraw from because of physical problems. But uh, I don't think that's going to be the case today. He'll be able to finish this. Step us, uh, sneaks it through. And so Kent Steffes will serve the number one ranked player on tour along with Karch Karai. They are the two number ones, according to the computer. And Whitmarsh still has good steam. Mike Dodd, we have talked a little about his basketball ability. In 1979, he started at guard at San Diego State along with National League batting champion Tony Gwynn. Both on to figuring better things in different sports. Don has it. Chance for a point. No punch is there. And Steffes loops it in. A point from the bad side. Only the third of the match out of 11 total on the board. Got to read. This ball has touched Kent Steffes on the block. It's coming with the left hand. You cannot allow this ball to go down, although a tough chance deep up the middle and good location by Steffes. 20 seconds sand timeout for Wishman, Whitmarsh, and Dodd. Kent Steffes uh, regarded as one of the most versatile players on tour. A couple years back, he won with four different partners, but the most versatile player of all time. In most people's opinion, the great, the legendary Ron Von Hagen, he won with 16 different partners throughout his career. What a good looking chiseled hunk he was known as the Babe Ruth of Volleyball. One with four partners back in 1972. That's also a record for one year. Steffes with the block. And now Karai and Steffes have their first lead six to five. And because of Mike Whitmarsh's history and the number of extra matches that he and his partner have played, you gotta start wondering. He's starting to drag a little bit. Steffes can't get that one as Whitmarsh. Torchers one inside. No dragging there. Important that he bounced right back. Not let Kirai and Steffes think that he is starting to fail. Mike Whitmarsh has a pretty good sense of humor about his condition. And Steffes hits it out of bounds. Mike Whitmarsh, when asked about the six bags of IV he took last year at Seal Beach, said, well, I do hold an AVP record. <laughs> six bags of IV at Seal. It was a six pack, no big deal. 6-6. Six, six. Steffes gently on the inside. Dodd and Whitmarsh led early 5-1. Karai and Steffes scoring four in a row to tie it up 5-5. Five, five. Now it is 6-6. Six, six. That pass. 
Good set. And the drill. Chop one up to some luck. A shank pass by Mike Dodd into the lucky top of the tape. Fell right in the lap of Mike Whitmarsh for what turned out to be an easy setting opportunity. Dodd trying to spin up that deep ace. Beautiful set. And Kent Steff is showing you some of the athletic ability that he has. His father currently holds a world record for folks over 50 in the 4 by 400 meter relay. So his dad, Jackson, can run and can jump. And you know what they say, Paul, the apple doesn't roll far from the tree. I think Karai and Steffes have adjusted to the change in wind direction. They're much better now in their positioning. When Mike Dodd and Mike Whitmarsh have been serving, they're not having that much trouble receiving from the bad side right now. 6-6 six, six our score. And too much heat. Dodd was in the right spot. But Steffes able to thunder one through. Ken Steffes winning his first tournament of his young career back in 1989. He did it with then star John Stevenson, who is now the ABP president. So far, Whitmarsh holding up pretty well. 6-6 six, six, with four minutes and 21 seconds to go. Chris Marlowe and Paul Sunderland, glad you're with us live for beach volleyball here on NBC. Final day of the Miller Lite Seal Beach Open. What do you think? Guru Paul Sunderland. Well, not a hard driven ball. Shot that Mike Whitmarsh has to take cleanly. He's got to rebound that off a of hand. And the pull down pass and the yellow card at Mike to Mike Dodd. Very tight call. Let's see if that affects play. 6-6 six, six is our score. Dodd hitting hard. Dodd is one of the smartest players to ever play pro beach volleyball. He's also one of the toughest. Consider the under fire award. He played with Tim Hovland for over 10 years. Both teams in a very long side battle. Able to regain possession passing and setting the ball extremely well. Step another one home. This is the kind of streak that Kirai and Steffes have been able to put on virtually the rest of the tour all season long. They just get to a point where they don't make any mistakes and they wear you down. 6-6 six, six is our score. Whitmarsh. On the line. So Whitmarsh snaking one inside. I'll tell you, the nylon rope here anchored to the sand, and you've got to tattoo it sometimes to get it past the defensive person. Scored upon. They make an unusual, unforced error. Seven to six, Whitmarsh and Dodd lead by one. Dodd brought Pat Powers to a win here last year. Can he do it with Whitmarsh? Cards. Whitmarsh coming alive. Whitmarsh had seven stuffed blocks in the finals of the contenders bracket. And way over the net again, anticipating the shot direction. Jumping into the angle against Karch Kirai. 20 second sand timeout coming up in two weeks. The biggest tournament of them all. $750,000 going to be given away on August 28th and 29th at the Miller Lite U.S. Championships. Karch Kirai and Ken Stevis, the defending champions. As the season winds down, Ryan Steffes have won every major tournament this year. And the majority of the money, over $230,000 apiece. Steffes and Steffes sifts one down the line. 8-6, Whitmarsh and Dodd ahead by two. Ryan Steffes are trying to survive 
right now this pretty good move by Whitmarsh and Dodd on the bad side. Good. And Steffes rebounds with a block. 3.43 to go. 8-7. Dodd and Whitmark. The critical juncture of this game. Karch to serve. And he goes long. Dodd and Whitmarsh have only scored one point from the bad side as opposed to Kirai and Steffes who scored three. Remarkably, Kirai and Steffes have been worse on the good side. Here comes Karch. Cut. Kent Steffes going over the top. Talked a little about uh, Kent Steffes' upbringing, his, his idol Warren Buffett, Peter Lynch, his favorite book, Barbarians at the Gate. He wants to be a corporate raider, <laughs> retire when he's 33, take over companies. No one. Woodmarsh, Karch, did he get it? Couldn't quite bring it back. Got the first ball, and Kirai a little bit fooled by it. Maybe a change in direction. He's backing up here, and Witt goes with a good short change of pace. Kirai gets to number one, but can't get to number three. Don Whitmarsh lobbing easily on the serve. Karch stop. But there was a net call. Violation. And Karch Kirai will go back and serve. Side out. As you know, Karch has a million medals at home, most of them gold. But interestingly, Karch has never had a cavity in his life. A little trivia for you, Paul. Once went four years without going to the dentist. I can't I'll tell you, that answered one of the things I really wondered about Karch. Side out. Whitmarsh and Dodd. The side has been the story. Whitmarsh and Dodd leading 5-1. They went over to the bad side, gave up four. Dodd, big dig, quick goal. And the pull away! What a set by Whitmarsh. The ball blows back to him. He has to gauge that. Right now, Mike Whitmarsh going, where's the ball going to come down? He slows down, it's blowing back to him. Now he has to set the ball just far enough off the net for Dodd to finish. It's 9-7, to seven. as Karch rolls one over the top. So Karai and Steffes trailing in this one game to 15 points. Sinjin Smith and Ricky Looney's finished third, and Gino Loyola got fourth. Adam Johnson and Akatubi, Eric Panoy, Moana, Tim Hoplin finished in fifth. Steffes. And Steffes cuts inside. Under three minutes to play now. And it's a one-point game. Last year, Karai and Steffes had won 13 straight tournaments coming into Seal Beach and lost. This year, they come in with a six. Brian Lewis and Randy Stoklos, the Kings of Chicago, finished seventh, as did Tim Walmer and Dan Verbalovich. So Stoklos and Lewis having some problems. Out of bounds goes Steffes. A couple of close matches eliminated Lewis and Stokos. Didn't play that badly. They've had that kind of luck throughout the course of the season. They were eliminated in Cleveland and lost by a total of two points. Dodd serving. His team leading by a one. 9-8. Dodd got it up. Can he put it away? Not yet. Steffes. And he puts it down. You can see Steffes thinking. Who do I hit this ball to, Dodd or Whitmarsh? And he went to Witt. Well, in that ball, again, Kirai's got to bump set that ball with all the strength he's got into a gusting wind. Steffes cranks it from about 12 feet off the net, goes deep and hard at Whitmarsh's inside hand. And another 20-second sand timeout. So the pace has slowed considerably as Dodd and Whitmarsh taking their time. The other night in his... Uh, Homecoming party, or I should say recovery party from the injury spout that he went through. Dodd, bad pass. Could be another point for Karine Steffen. Dodd tries to chicken it over, could not. Point, Karine Steffen now 10-9, they lead. No secret why Dodd and Whitmarsh have used all of their four 20-second timeouts, trying to slow things down. 
And if Woodmarsh is getting tired with good reason, their ninth match of the tournament. Woodmarsh oh. however, will be going over to the good side on the next point. So they will be rejuvenated. Whitmarsh trying to muster everything he has got. No IV bags this week for Mike Whitmarsh. Just a change in medication. Hey, Tepes snaps one inside. Identifying the sodium deficiency in his body. Uh, all kinds of specialists taking a look at Mike Whitmarsh and now taking prescription levels of salt and sodium to try to balance out his metabolism. Here comes Whitmarsh in purple. Stephens has the dig on him. top Karai. Karai and Steffes needed the 11-9 side change because they're going over to the Bungo Straits, the bad side, the windy side, and they get it here at the end. The players, 11-9, Karai and Steffes lead Whitmarsh and Don. The championship final here at the Miller Lite Seal Beach Open. I'm Chris Marlowe, my partner is Paul Sunderland. Karai and Stephens trailed, but they have caught up, taking advantage of the win. Mike Dodd and Mike Whitmarsh trying to hang on here and get back in it on the good side. Opportunity for Dodd. He had an ace early with a high spinner. And tapping down the line, Stephens, who's been nearly perfect since early in the match. Steffes has four unforced errors, but all of those came before eight. The difference in first and second, $30,000 to winning team, $18,000 to the second place team. Todd ah, still with heat, racks one through. And so Mike Whitmarsh will have the ball. Just three years on tour, he says, I learn something every time I play. Needs a block. Get out of and Steffes hits one out. So Whitmarsh and Dodd creeped to within one, 11 to 10. I mentioned four and four stairs before eight. That's the first one in crunch time, and Dodd and Whitmarsh within one. to cover your, uh, your player, you bet. Kirai right on the spot, Dodd screaming for the lift against Kirai. And that may have just saved the match. The Write that one down. I saw exactly what happened. Get on the court. Another yellow card is in the third that Dodd and Whitmarsh are arguing with Jim Leonard. Hey, that's it. Jim Leonard considered the best referee the on tour. Get screamed at by the players the most. I guess because he's doing big matches. Whitmarsh puts it away again. Important side out. And Dodd is continuing. Felt that Karts Kirai lifted the ball illegally, carried it on the coverage and save he made for his partner, Kent Steffes. Down by a point, Dodd and Whitmarsh. No. Whitmarsh has found the cure for him. It's time for Kirai and Steffes to see if five, they can figure what ails them hitting against big Mike Whitmarsh. Taking away the angle against Kirai. Tied at 11. Karch getting the call and answering it. Game to 15, one minute and 26 seconds to go. Big play by Steffes there. The definitive line call to his partner, Karch Karai. Karai spinning. Good, Mike. Karch, he's got it. Steffes. Dodd answers. Dodd wants to win again. It's been a while. Karch Kirai wants to keep winning. Scrambling, covering once again, keeping the ball in play, and Dodd going smartly on the second opportunity. Good free ball pass. Give your partner the option. Set me or go ahead and crank. 
Dodd with a good choice. Mike Dodd, he has won with Hovland in his career. He's won with Karai, he's won with Ludies. He won here last year with Pat Powers. Now he's trying to raise the level of Mike Whitmarsh's game. Whitmarsh and Dodd never have won together. And what an upset this would be to knock off Karai and Steffes and stop yet another win streak. Last year, Whitmarsh knocked out Karai along with Brian Lewis. Got to give Mike Dodd a lot of credit. A lot of people tried to get him away from Mike Whitmarsh, saying, hey, Whitmarsh can't finish, but Dodd has been there for him. March. And an interesting scenario now, Paul. I love it all. We know the side is the difference. If Whitmarsh and Dodd can side out, perhaps they don't have to go back to the bad side. They could win it on the good side on time. Got to score one first and get the lead. Steffes to take the lead. Whitmarsh got it. Steffes. Big play here. Can win finish. No, not yet. That's down. Rally of the summer, no doubt about it. And Steffes might have paid the price. Again, going into the banner court side or hitting one of our cameras. He looks okay going back out. Phenomenal play by all four players. Whitmarsh ripping at Kirai. Steph is trying to finally come over and make the save. Got to make sacrifices if you want to win. Timeout call by Kirai and Steffes. Full timeout. 46. Steffes. Touch. Nice play by Steffes. So the side out to Karai and Steffes. You only have to win by one if time runs out. Plenty of time for a number of things to happen. Dodd and Whitmarsh, Karai and Steffes. We're tied at 11 all. Here we go. Just under 42 seconds to go. And it only runs during play. Steffes touched the net. He said he didn't. But referee George Carey said yes. Could have been his shirt call turning off the net. Well, Mike Whitmarsh has had that called on him a couple of times. He's been very careful to tuck his tank top inside the shirt. And you can't touch the net with anything. Right there where he turns, the floppy part of his jersey goes into the net. Just a brush. That might have been point number 12 in the lead. Tied at 11, 36 seconds to go. Whitmarsh pokes it up to take the lead. Not yet, Karch gobbles it back up. And Witt is there, 26 seconds to go. Whitmarsh, he kills it! Mike Whitmarsh has been asked 10,000 questions and he's answering them all this week in Seal Beach. He is coming through at the end when he is most fatigued. 12 to 11. 20 seconds to go. Down with a dig. Score! What a comeback. First Whitmarsh, now Dodd with the dig. Up two on the good side. Karai and Steffes in desperation time. 15 seconds to go. And Karch lets it go. That could be it. Karch, they let it go on purpose. They want to get to the good side. They want to get to the good side with as much time as possible left. Strategic, risky, and maybe a smart move. Don Whitmarsh, however, in command. For the championship. Karai and Steffes trying to terminate quickly. This could be it. Don Whitmarsh, time running down. Whitmarsh. And the clock is going to run out. Don and Whitmarsh are going to win it. The upset of the summer. Yes, Wendy. Wendy, say something.
the kings of the beach have lost. Mike Whitmarsh and Mike Wash. Mike Whitmarsh, first time ever, the monkey is off. Mike Whitmarsh is back, our Old Spice winning moment. Mike Don and Mike Whitmarsh in the rally of the summer. Whitmarsh in purple making the dig. Kareeming one down the line. Karai and Stephens chasing, chasing, but they could not bring it back. Dodd and Whitmarsh. That will do it. Upset here in Seal Beach for Paul Sunderland. I'm Chris Marlowe. Seal Beach is now.